Welcome back, everybody. We have a new manuscript page. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now, she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. Well, that's a creepy, creepy, creepy stalkery. Screepy. Screepy, even. Huh? No, resume game. It's like stalkery sounding. I got $5 on don't touch the sparking wire. I'll shoot you with light beams. For I am the day man. Ah. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. And yet I continued to stare at it. Hey, look. This will not end in my death. How's that? Oh, okay, just shiny stuff right there. How about we pole vault? That way the trimmers can't find us. Wait, wrong horror, wrong horror. Here we go. And then he died. What's this? Oh, a manuscript page. Rip is sending me links to YouTube videos. I do not think Rip realizes that I'm recording. I'm not even sure if the Steam overlay would get picked up. Oh, hey, there we go. Where did he go? Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. He wants to eat you, dude. He wants you inside of him. Inside of his belly. Oh my. Checkpoint reached. Ow! Did you just throw that at me? I'm gonna need to find ammo soon. Um. Up, jump, jump, jump. There we go. What's it say? Caution, proceed at your own risk. Logging area ahead. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Arrow, arrow. Um, uh, ladder. Okay. All right. Where's my little, aha, okay. Taken, they're taken. They are taken. The taken are filled with darkness. Okay. Should taken mean something to me? Supplies, motherfucker. Some batteries. Batteries. How about ammo? No ammo. Well, at least I have plenty of batteries. So should I not be trying to fight everything that comes across my path? Is that what's going on? Should I try and avoid them? 
like, blind them and move on or something? I don't know. The world may never know. Mr. Owl. Okay. The staircase was broken. Well, I had to make clearly. my way up some other way. Well, it'd be too easy otherwise. Oh, hey, look. A thing. Hello, thing. Revolver ammo. Batteries. Cool. Which means this is a boss fight. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Ah. That was by pure luck. Start. Go. Go. Room. Yay. And now I'm going to have to fight a horde mode, right? Oh, look, manuscript page. Pick up shotgun. Cool. What about shotgun ammo? Why the door shut? Any shotgun ammo? No. No. All right. I'm not gonna go in front of that. That just seems like death. Do 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 do. Can I pick up the armor? <laughs> I'll be Judge Dredd. I made a bridge. bridge is what I made. Oh god, I almost... I don't like that I let off the controls and you don't stop right away, Alan. Oh, there's a thermos down there. I said I'm not going to collect them all, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to actively try and collect them. I'm just not going to collect them all. Because I'm probably going to miss them. Because so I'm not going to be searching for them. And this is going to fall and kill me. No? Okay. Anyway, like I was saying, I'm not going to completely explore areas until there's absolute, I'm absolutely positively sure that the thermoses aren't there. I am the platforming king. Also, Mr. Wake... You need to invest in one of those shaky flashlights. Hey, hmm. I've reached a checkpoint. What is this? 
Ah, Jack and Jill's. Uh, Radio. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Uh -huh. You listeners know I'm, I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Uh, makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Yeah, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking company on a walk. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find it. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? <laughs> Toby loves people. Usually he comes back, but we were pretty far from home, and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog, but... <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks. You have a good night now. I'm not gonna have to kill Toby, am I? I'm not. I'm not okay with killing dogs. Okay. I have a flare gun, but okay. That's it? I guess in case I miss the other one. Can I... Options. I'm afraid if I turn down the... music, though, that it's gonna... affect... like, the ambient noise. Well... We'll find out when I upload this. If I get strikes, I'll just not, uh... Manuscript page! What's that? The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best dogs in the street. Belly Burster is the best with no curves. Let's go! <laughs> Okay. Oh god. Well, that was exciting. One, two potato. Revolvers, batteries, anything else? Light point that I can heal at. All right, let's go wander into the darkness and get killed. Toby. Safe Haven. Alright, well, we'll go to the safe haven on the next episode. Stay excellent, my friends. I'm gonna continue to try and stay alive. <laughs>